Oh, you want more minerals? We put minerals in that bowl. And they did taste them. And then the chickens came and ate them, which was weird. I didn't expect that. What are you chasing? Some grass? That's good. Chase that orange peel. Hey, are you trying to see what that is over there? Huh? That's goats. <laughs> We have decided on Betty White for Betty and Wilma for the other one. So Betty and Wilma like the Flintstones, but Betty White is her actual name. But when she's being sassy, I call her Betty Boop. I'm like, you booby girl, you silly. She's a, she's a very frisky little one. Wilma's more subdued, and laid back. It's funny because I kind of felt like they were opposite when I first met them, but now that I'm getting to know them better. They just showing more and more of their personality. And Betty fights for the bottle. She loves the bottle. She'll drink more than she should. And Wilma, she drinks what she should and then kind of has to be coerced into the rest. <laughs> but they're both doing great. Are you king of the hill? Don't eat the mulch. <laughs> They do put everything in their mouths just like a toddler. They don't actually eat it. They just chew it and spit it out. They're doing that with food and hay as well. The food, it seems like they have actually eaten some pellets pretty well. warmed up a whole lot out here. I wonder how much sap we have. What do you think? Huh, that one doesn't look like it's flowed at all, Ryan. I don't see any moisture in it. I wonder if you didn't get it far enough in. It's kind of poking out. All right, let's see if that one has anything in it. Good tight lid. <laughs> it's hard to open. Oh, there is a little bit. Just a little bit. Probably about a quarter cup like the walnut tree had. I think we're gonna be surprised on this one. You think? Yeah. You just got a good feeling about it? I got it. a good feeling. I'm looking at the tree and then the bucket feels. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Liam, come here! There's like two inches of sap in there. More than that. More than that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's like a quarter two at least. Wow. Oh, oh Ryan, it worked. We are <laughs> getting syrup. Yes, we are. Oh, we should have brought a little dipping cup to sip on some. <gasps> That's amazing. You can dip your pinky in it. I won't tell. This is for home use anyway. A little sweet. A little bit. Not like you'd expect, though. Not like sugar water or anything. Mm. <laughs> I was a little bit worried that this big old tree was not going to be healthy enough with all the sap sucker holes. And there are some dead branches, and I have seen people say that if there's a lot of dead branches in the tree, it's probably not healthy enough to tap. What do you think, Ryan? I think that this is worth tapping. For sure. We might go ahead and put a third tap and see if we can get even more syrup. <laughs> K 
cows and maple tapping. Yeah, she won. All right, so Ryan and Liam came out here yesterday to check on the syrup and they added another tap. So we have this tap here now collecting into a jug. So we are going to collect whatever we have and do a gallon jug to refrigerate until we have enough. Okay, so this tap's been collecting all night. I'm just gonna simply unscrew this jug. And how did you make that lid? I just took the same size drill bit and I drilled it in through the cap. Genius. Yep, so I'm gonna swap to a new, or well, a clean jug. And now we're gonna let this one collect. And how much did you get? Last night did not get freezing, so I didn't think we'd get any flow. Not that much, probably about a quarter cup. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good for not going below freezing, really. I mean, it was only 30, right? Yep. So, that's pretty good. Now, this tap here, it seems to be our highest producer, and it makes the most sense because it's getting the most sun. Even right now, you can see that the trunk is light. You can see that the trunk is lit up with sun. I'm going to take the lid off of this one. Just kind of set it out of the way. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Is that a whole gallon? We'll see. <sighs> I'm gonna pour that and combine it with the, the sap from the other tap in this jug. Excellent. I'll hold the handle so it doesn't fall. Just go slow, because I don't have a tight grip on the metal part. Okay. Should I get Rowan to help us? Oh my gosh, look at all that. Stop, stop, it's leaking. Let's get Rowan. Row, row. We need you. Okay. Hurry. All right. all right. Now, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at all that beautiful no, you could drink this like water and it's supposed to be really nutrient yeah. dense. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll sterilize when we cook it to 260, 290, I forget. I'll look at that before we Can't start like cooking. A tiny bit sweet water. Yeah. Sweet water. I'll let you have a glass of it in the house if you want. Nice, that's like, Half gallon? Let's do it. That's pretty that's pretty good. I think that's pretty awesome for Georgia. That's amazing. If this replaced water, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> Me too. Can you unscrew it? You take that Hold the handle the whole time you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Thank you, helper. Liam, you leave that cow alone. Uh, go with Odin. Sneaking Stay up. With Odin while sneaking we do up this. on a cow, you kooka boy. <laughs> Odin's running away. He's trying to get to a fence. He's, he, he wants to play with the neighbor's toys. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. This, See what this one's got. This was the first one we put in. That's not producing as much as that second one. Man, not a whole lot more from yesterday either. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's like hardly anything. Oh, sadness. I wonder if this be that's because there's more sap sucker started. holes right there. Maybe. Making us lose more. All right, well, that's still good. If we can have a whole gallon to work with, we can at least get a sample of syrup for this year. And maybe next year we'll be more prepared and start earlier. All right, now we are at the walnut tree which we're not expecting as high a yield on so let's see what we got a little bit we'll go ahead and pour it off into a separate container so that we can boil them down separately as time goes oh actually that's yeah that's not bad so the start of our fun little experiment looks pretty promising 
The next three days will be warm, so we probably won't get um, any sap running. And then after that, the week's forecast looks pretty promising. So we'll keep you posted. Nice perk of working for a compost company. Sometimes you get entire trash cans full of perfectly good lettuce. So we're gonna give a little bit to each of the animals. The pig's got some, the goat's got some. Not too much, cause it is lettuce. And you don't want that anybody to get diarrhea. I think you guys would like it. Who dug the hole to China? What, did, what, what was the purpose of that? Okay, no need to pick out. There's plenty more where that came from. Oh my goodness, they love it. They love it. Here, babies, you wanna try some lettuce from daddy's work? They were gonna compost it. You wanna bite? You want some? I let them have some of my spinach earlier today and they liked it. They were nibbling on it. You want some? Here, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Everybody likes lettuce leftovers. And the birds. <laughs> they're all, they're so excited. Did you get some lashes? Yeah. Everybody got a little bit? Just like daddy. <laughs> Just like daddy. Uh-oh. Don't crash your tractor. You don't want to break it, buddy. It is a beautiful afternoon out here. My afternoon coffee. The boys playing on their tractor. The baby sheep running around behind me somewhere. And I'm just enjoying every minute of it. Teaching those birds bad habits is what you're doing. Liam, Liam what are you doing? <laughs> Eating chickens right from your hand. I literally live in paradise. Could my afternoon scene be any cuter? I love it. I love it. 